And we also got another surprise in there. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So good morning everyone. Welcome back to another visual voyage. Today evidently we're at the Tidal Basin here in DC. Usually I stick away from touristy events like the Cherry Blossom Festival just because I'm not the biggest fan of strapping up the GoPro to my chest and hanging around with a ton of expensive camera equipment around a bunch of random tourists but here we are oh well rocking with old trusty lens here today but we did have a little bit of a change up since the last episode as you can see we got an r7 now in case you don't watch my shorts did an unboxing of this guy a couple weeks ago we also got another surprise in there another lens as well and yeah let's get to it all right so for those of you who might not live in dc or are planning on visiting on the other side of this fence right here this is where all of the newspaper photographers and magazine photographers take their shots the reason why is because along this entire left side here you just get the cherries with the monument in the background and it's a generally great shot uh, we'll come back to this one in a second but for right now we'll just snag one of these in between the trees here Since it's such a cloudy day today, it's gonna to be tough not to overexpose the sky as well as underexpose the cherries. See, this is half the reason why I'm not the biggest fan of tourists, man. I'm just never gonna find an opening. We're gonna get a better shot of that if we head over there, so we'll do that in a bit. The goal for today is just, oh, almost just died. The goal for today is essentially just to get all of the super basic shots, so the ones that you see all these magazines getting pictures of and the newspapers, so. We got the one that's in between the cherries looking at the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. The one that I was just talking about right here, where you get the cherries along the side and the Washington Monument. And then if I have time, I'll head over to the Thomas Jefferson slap on the other lens that I was talking about and get a shot of the Martin Luther King monument with the cherries there as well. But first we'll head over to the shot that I was talking about before. But God, I cannot stress how much I hate having a GoPro stress, strapped to my chest in public. tripod got stuck but we made it <laughs> all right speaking of the tripod we'll get that out right now throw the ND filter on and get that shot that I was talking about all right we're good to go got old trusty out and got the ND filter on also got the GoPro media mod which has the, the wind reflector off it on it, like the little sock thing. And I'm really hoping it's working because it's really, really blowing out here today. I've already been out here for 30 minutes since I got here. I just had to warm my hands because my dumb ass forgot gloves. All right, for these first couple shots, we'll keep the tripod only on the first setting. That will give us hopefully a little bit lower to the ground, more professional looking shot. At least I think I got no clue. <laughs> Sounds about right, right? I'm also gonna set my settings up here just so I don't have to deal with walking in front of all these people and blocking them. All right, let's move up, soldiers. 
Let's make sure we get this set up right. I'm blocking a ton of people here, so I'm trying to get out of here quick. <laughs> Goddamn helicopters, bro. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on a two second timer. So once we actually hit the picture button, it won't. It will shake once we push it, but then it will stop. Focus on the cherries here. Two seconds. Hopefully that's decent. Good enough from this spot. Let me just check the sharpness real quick. Cool, that's money. All right, let's get going to the next spot. Another thing that's real nice about the ND filter is we're able to get uh, really nice cinematic shots here since we're able to keep the frame rate so low. Normally it would be super tough in conditions like this where you have the sky is pretty much white, so everything just overexposes, right? But with the ND filter, it allows you to get everything to be a bit darker. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Could you please help help us to record a video? Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Check if that's thank good. You. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if it's not, we can redo it. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's perfect. That's good. Perfect. All right. Sounds thank good, you, guys. Y'all have a great day. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I hate taking pictures for other people solely because I have no clue what they want. Like those guys right there, it was pretty simple, but sometimes like, be like, oh no, I just want a close up shot. Or, oh no, I want the landscape in the background, but they'll never tell me before they ask. These guys were cool. I'll be honest, that's my first time filming a TikTok. <laughs> All right, ah, fuck. We gotta wait for the goddamn plane again, dude. So I came over here to get the shot with the cherries and the tree in the background. Let's see if we can squeeze our way in here. Might not be able to, there's so many people. Thank you, sir. Um, I wish this green tree right here wasn't green. Maybe let's move back a little bit. Alright. Ah, this cherry here, man. It's tough to get the right spot. Every year it changes. But this should be good because there's a little bit of a gap up here with the cherries and that green tree that was kind of blocking the way. So let's go ahead and lower her down here. Always scared with my back to people walking behind me that I'm going to get my shit pushed in. Oh, that should be money. All right. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what happens when you're a goddamn professional lady. Oh yeah, look at that. Just wish it was sunny out. You know that would that would help quite a bit. All right. Let's go uh, get that shot that I was talking about with the with the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. All right, tripods away. Unfortunately, not the thing on the bottom. ND filters away as well. We're at the MLK Memorial now. I don't think I'm going to have time to run to the other side of the basin and get a picture of it facing this way. But while we're here, we'll see if we can grab a good, good couple of shots and uh, hopefully come out with something good. Take the picture. Oh my God, I have the timer on. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Sorry, I'm still getting used to the R7, man. This is only like, I don't know, my 
fifth or sixth time using it. There we go. Let's get a landscape. All right, check that one off the box. Here's our first little glimpse of the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. If these two heads could get out of the shot, that'd be pretty sweet. All right, one of those has to be good. If not, little Photoshop never hurt nobody. This was a shot that I got last year with a different camera, obviously, and this one's really nice because, especially with the planes landing this way, uh, sometimes the planes will come right at this eye line. <laughs> All right, now it's time for everyone's favorite, macro photography. Woo! It's tough with the wind blowing. Gonna have to change it up into high speed continuous mode. All right, one of those has to work. God, it's gonna be a fucking pain to go through all of these. All right, let's go ahead and swap lenses to the lens that I said would be a little bit of a surprise. I don't think I've revealed it on the channel just yet. So if you couldn't tell already, this is the Canon EF 70 to 200 millimeter IS Mark II series. Picked this bad boy up on eBay auction for a, probably $700 less than I thought it was gonna get it for. Which is always nice. And I've been using this, I had my first session the other day in San Diego with this thing. And I don't know if you guys saw that short video, but the images that you can get from this are astounding to say the least. This is my first 2.8 lens as well, right? I didn't really understand how much of a difference it would have been going from 4 to 2.8. And my goodness, it's it's crazy. The amount of uh, bokeh, bokeh, boat, however the hell you say that. Okay. As well as the quality difference between this and the f4 version of this as well as the other lens that i was just using is night and day difference it's pretty astounding what you're able to take with something like this we're going to use this to our advantage today maybe take some more pictures of the mlk but more notably take pictures from this side of the thomas jefferson memorial through the cherry blossoms here Right through these cherries seems real nice here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.
I gotta turn it off high speed continuous, otherwise I'm gonna spend the next 12 hours trying to edit. I'd say the biggest reason why I came out here today specifically, instead of uh, skipping again list this year like I did last year. Thank you, Mr. Motorcycle Cop. Anyways, the reason why I decided to skip was just because there's so many tourists here, like I already said, but this will apparently be the last year of the Blossoms until 2027 because every single one of these guys is getting ripped up to repair the seawall on the side here. Um, and in fairness, it is probably needed because right here it might be good, but over there in a bunch of other areas, the seawall's sinking downwards into the water and it's just pretty unsafe, but it is going to be pretty sad having no cherry blossoms here at the tidal basin for the next couple of years, you know? So that's why we're out here to try and try and capture what we can before she's gone. get our shot. Oh, that one tree branch was in the way, but hopefully it will still look cool. <laughs> Alright, let's get a couple more macro shots of the pink trees and then we'll be good to go. That we should be good to go. All right, that about wraps it up for the day. Fortunately, with the cloudy skies, we didn't have too much to work with today, but hopefully my bike didn't get stolen. Oh, it didn't, let's go. Other than that, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, as we get into spring, with the leaves coming out and everything we're going to be doing a lot more visual voyages and we also got some plans to shoot some sports as well with the r7 oh damn i got it dirty today yep stay tuned for the future guys got a lot coming and thank you so much and have a great rest of your day